This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, here's where we're going with this. Uh, yeah, I'm on John Halkis' charter boat, and he said this was the best trip for quality of the season so far, and it's, yeah, a lot of nice fish. So, uh, yeah, we got a great crew on board. Um, I've got Andy next to me, Ernesto next to him, Steve up in the front, and John running around uh, with the net, and uh, we're fishing out of eastern Long Island. Yeah. You know, he's going to give you a run for your money. Look how clear the water is. That fish yeah. looks like it's Look at here. That. That's amazing. All right, Steve, drive him into the net. Drive him. There you go, buddy. Good job. Nice start. There you go, Ernie. Good fish? Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. Really good one. Yo, yeah, oh, it's a good fish, John. I'm gonna be a gentleman by not dropping my line in the water. I heard. Damn, you're so good. No, I would never say something like that. Very good fish. Now breathe deep, Ernesto. Let try. Taste yourself. Inner peace. See, the thing with Ernesto is he uses these really light rods. No, but this. No, no. Let me know when you want me to go to the bag and get the nitro blister and test up there. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> you got heart problems? Come on. <laughs> Either that or you want to explode us. Whoa! What happened there? Wow. <laughs> Alright, let's focus. So John, forget about the client, because I got a good one here too, so just walk away from Ernesto, you know. <laughs> I don't know if yours is as good as Ernesto's. Wow. That's a good one. Slack it off. Skinner, yours is good? It is very, yeah, it is good, yeah. I'm getting the Yeah, I'm taking my time, yeah. Here with the other net. Okay, I see him now. Oh, shit. I don't think he's as good as Ernesto. So freaking far down, you can see him coming. Now he's a good fish, man. Yeah. Hold on, I'll help you guys. Skin, I'm gonna leave you with this. It's a nice fish, man. Wow. Wow. That's so why I told you, forget about Ernesto. No, I think Ernesto's is nicer. Oh, are they cookies? Aren't they yeah. cookie cutters? They cookie, are. cookie cutter fish. Cookie cutter, what do you... That's the right hit. Ah. Good? Yeah, I'll be a keeper. Nothing... I can deal with them. Okay. He came up awfully fast, so maybe he won't even pass. No, he'll pass. Yeah, there you go. Sir. Yeah, definitely. So that's Andy next to me. Yeah, I, I think that fish is there. He, um, Andy is the least experienced out of the crew, but he's going to do just fine. Um, yeah. yeah, see that little weight? I, I think that fish is is messing with him right there, just as if we're about to pick up and leave. There he goes. Yeah. Luke. Andy, you gotta stop reeling that fish. Well, he's just reeling down. <laughs> that's that's it's that big, John. <laughs> Damn it! All right, interesting how um, Ernesto and I had those two big fish really quite close to each other, and that's not uncommon. You know, if you got a piece of structure down there, Big fish hanging around it. That's the kind of thing you know you definitely want to mark on your plotter and um, you know keep drifting over the spot. But uh, yeah, and then hey, we got some. Uh, you know, we're going to work through just a couple of smaller keepers here. But hey, those are great eaters. It's a fluke. I mean, look how deep he is. He, I know. Feel it's like amazing. It's amazing. It's not tiny. You'd no, be measuring him. I am measuring him. I think he's going to pass. Yeah. To be I may need the net from you. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
I'm right here and I'm up, so yeah. coming over. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna net it with the brush though. No. It's right there though. I love how clear yeah. the water is here. Right, you know how this works. I'm gonna swim them into the net, Skinner. Yeah, you can so make it fish, easy. Man. Nice fish. There you go. Oh, that's over eight. Maybe. Yeah, it's definitely over eight. Ooh. Oh, maybe. No, he's definitely over eight. I think he's he could be nine plus. Uh, eight and a half. Eight and a half. That'd be my guess. Oh, it's gonna. Get the bucket. There out. you go. Thank you. All right, that one was twenty-seven and a half inches, about eight and a half pounds, and uh, John did release that fish. We definitely try to put those larger ones back. Hey, big one up in the uh, Ornesto. Yeah, and John's got the giant net there because uh, the other net's tied up. He just netted a fish for Steve. So, uh, yeah, this is good action. All right, yeah, Andy. When you get a big one on, yeah. you know, okay. Yeah. Just keep it moving, keep it oh. moving. Man. Oh my God! Come on! Oh! The bottom, no, it wasn't the bottom. No. The thing was vibrating like crazy. That was uh, Andy. Yeah, but uh, I'm not saying it was, you know, a big fish, but it was a fish. Well, I'm gonna come with a. I'm gonna have a bold prediction. Now, I got an eight plus on the boat, which right now is the biggest. But my guess is, when it's all said and done, and no offense, Sandy, no offense, yeah. Ernesto, and no offense, Skinner, but my money is on Steve. All right. Well, if you're gonna talk like that, then I'm gonna go ahead and fish my my real gear then, <laughs> playing with the spinning rod now. So next drift, I'll have to switch over. I don't want to see it. Are you that threatened by Steve? Well, I just, you know, Halkius rubs it in for like the next three trips then. Oh, then there was that trip and Steve outfished you. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Good? You better get the net. I'm getting the net. Nice and slow, Steve. Uh, nice and slow, Andy. Sorry. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a good fish. He, right. he, and Ernesto's on, too. Ernesto, if you need a net, just keep him in the water. Or I'll, I'll come get him. To... We got the other net in the front, Skinner. Let's Sorry. see who's up first. Okay. His is good. Yeah. Because he didn't set the hook or anything. He just started bringing up like dead weight. Yeah. And then the rod started bouncing. Any good? I'm not seeing anything yeah. good here. Oh, it's a it's big a fish, really see? Good fish. That's what I said. All right, slide them in. Nice. Good job. Very, very well nice. Done. Good fish. Now let's see if we can. Jesus. Oh, look at that. Yeah. All right, slack it off, slack it off, slack. So that, that's six and a half. I would say, Andy, based yep. on the length, that's the width. Yep. This is serious, huh? Yeah. That's, a nice fish. that's a really nice one. Yeah, well, it's not like I wasn't telling you. Every time with you. Oh, stop it. I know. Leave him alone. So lovers quarrel. Steve, stay out of it. <laughs> Almost as big as Andy's. Not quite. All right. What are you doing? Oh, uh, Andy. Andy's on something good. Yeah. Coming. Nice and easy, Andy. I'm looking for that sharp knife. <laughs> I'm getting a flu kit here. That's a good flu kit. Oh, Andy will show you how to hook them. Yeah. 
trying to get him to break. Yeah, he's got a good one, yeah. Well, I see the tension in the... In the in yeah. The... Nice and easy. Stay calm. You got Steve there to coach you. You got Skinner here to stab you. And no, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm killing myself. And you, you have yeah. me here to butcher the net job somehow. All your bases are covered, Andy. Hey, he's got a good one. I know. I think it's going to be okay. Is it bigger than the last one he had? Nice. It's a good one. I don't know if it's bigger than the last one. We'll see. Swim him towards me. Swim him towards me. What the hell's going on, Andy? I got stuck in the... Oh, oh! Got him in. I don't know how we got him in. Nice job. I got job. stuck in the... Oh, I was like... What the... I thought you got... Nice fish. Job, Andy. Yeah. Good way to go. You got stuck on somebody's line. I know. He's trying to spin him around. I got... Well done. Oh, boy. Oh, my. Skinner, can you net him? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm... There you go. I'm up. Skinner's up, and I'm tying. I'm in the middle of tying this, so so Ernesto's on a good fish. Skinner's gonna have to help me with the net, but I know for a fact that. Are, wait, is that the light rod or a different rod? The one I've been using all day. The one with the jerk shed. Either way, rod. either way. All right. laying over. Bring him over. Bring him over. It's a keeper. Good job, thank you, Skinner. Good job, Ernesto. If anything, it's going up. What do you mean up? Uh, south, which we're getting pushed north. That might explain why we're not catching right now. Okay, most educational part of the video right here is what we're doing is we, yeah, we the bite stop. We're trying to figure out the direction of water flow. Uh, you get s crazy currents out here. What we've done is we've put the trolling motor down. We've spot locked it. And I, what I'm doing here is just dropping a line and jigging. And we're observing where the line is going. And that's going to tell us... Um, which way the current is flowing. I know what you seem obvious. It is definitely not obvious. But like I said, we're spot locked, which means we're um, anchored with the trolling motor. And now we're going to determine the direction of flow, and we're going to slow troll with the trolling motor in that direction. And that's going to make a big difference. So I almost never sit down when fishing on a boat, and I happen to be, right now, I'm sitting on the, the back door with my feet down in the uh, splash well area. And uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, point two, point three, point four. Yeah, you can give it a little more juice. Yeah, I, I'm wondering. Oh yeah, now we're gonna get into the, oh no, I got a good fish actually. You got a fish? Yeah, a good one. Okay. If I can get the hook in him. Ready to get through right now? Oh, hey, so this is a good one. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Bring them, swing them this way when you get them up. I'll tell you why, it's a big fish though. Okay. So the trolling motor helps. Wow. Yeah. I've never trouble. stood back here. Yeah. No, no, just don't touch me. All right, I was keep, gonna... keep your hands off my butt. <laughs> I was just going to hold you from falling, Skinner. Uh, I would rather end up in the water. Oh, my God. But then have your, you know, have you molesting me over here. Okay, heads up. Yeah, good fish, man. Good fish. Come on, man. It's a double. <laughs> no, I don't know maybe. if it's a double, but it's maybe. up there. Maybe, maybe. Look at how wide he is. Wow. I'll, I'll come back in now. Dude, that might be. <laughs> that might be. Skinner, that might be, dude. If it's not, it's close. It's over nine. Yeah, it's a good one. Mine was eight. Skinner. Well, you, sometimes you have to get all the way out of the boat. The yeah. position. Yeah, that's what. I, yeah. Right. Wow. Right when we switched on the teaser too. Right he there. is a wide fish. Yeah, He's got he potential. Is. Wow. Huh? Oh, it might make it. it it's got weight. It's it's. It's a big Sometimes fish, I pick it up and it's it, the weight isn't there, you know. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Oh yeah, it's got it. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah, Skinner. Yeah. yeah, it's got it. Easy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's over ten for right, sure. Get yeah. Him in the water. Yeah. No, get him no, in the water. no doubt about it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's. Hey, that's great. Yeah. Hey, 
Fourth trip in a row with a dog. Oh, that's unbelievable, John. <laughs> Hold on a second. Wow. Nice job. Come on. Come on, go, go, go. There he goes. John, four in a row. That's unbelievable. All right, remember I said we're going to get two. I did say we were going to get two, but that's right. So, come on, guys. There he is. All right, I got the second one now. You got another one? I got a decent fish. Another good one? It's a good one for sure, yeah. Oh, my God. We're recalling feed there. Skinner's in the Sweeney position. It's like the first time I've sat down and fished in a long time. He's not like the last one, but he's a nice fish. Yeah, that's okay. He'll go in the box, maybe. Maybe not. It's another nice one, man. You know you got to come up the pack. Yeah, it's a good one. The 26? It's up there. It's yeah, it's up there. It looks looks small. After it looks the other small one. after the other one for sure. So now, as soon as I slowed it down a little. Oh, are you kidding? You're on again? Another good one, huh? Yeah, this is a keeper. All right. Wow. All right, so he must be fouled because okay. if he's not fouled, then, huh. Then you got another D, double D. I don't think he's fouled. I just saw head shakes. I don't, uh, I don't think he's fouled. Oh, yeah. good. He's fouled? No. Oh, maybe. Oh, hell, he why is he be. coming up? Whoa, whoa, big... he's not fouled. All right, he's going to come straight in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm All ready. Right, keep him coming. Keep him coming. There you go. Nice. What the hell is going on here? Wow, another good one, man. Put on the clinic. Blue fuse for what it's worth. Yeah, I'd say that was my best uh, 10 minutes of fluke fishing this season. But it was right after we went to the trolling motor. All right, here's another one uh, for Ernesto. Yeah, the drift and the presentation, it's everything in this fishing. And, you know, we put that trolling motor on, got going in the correct direction with the water flow. And, yeah, it's turned on. Oh yeah. Very good fish. Good. Our keeper. All right, besides a 10 and a half pounder, we had the eight and a half. We had at least four that were uh, over seven pounds. And, uh, you know, plenty five, six is just, you know, really, really great quality of this trip. Certainly the best overall quality trip of the season. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Check out my online courses at saltstrong.com slash Skinner. All right, end it there.